Hi, we're here with Wes DeLore and we have an okay. Can you introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Ore. I'm Apocalypse number 7, fall 2010. Okay, so a lot of people see the outside version of the AKAs and the walking on campus and things like that. What's the, what's the behind the scenes? Like? What do you all do on campus? And what do you all participate in? Um, well, one of the core fundamentals of our organization is community service. So that's what we um, we like to focus on that a lot. Actually, it's funny that we're standing right here because right behind you guys, we have um, we just did an event for um, MLK Week, which was called Voice Your Dreams, and we had people. Um, write their dreams in bubbles and so we try to encourage um, also younger girls through programs and initiatives like for example one of them is called the EYL which stands for Emerging Young Leaders and so we like to do things like that and so okay I'm sorry I messed up. <laughs>
Greek life. You know, everybody got their perception of how it is, stereotypes and things like that. Do you all fit the stereotypes or if you don't, what do you do to show that you don't? How do you separate yourself from being a stereotype? Well, I wasn't really aware of uh, the stereotype of alphas until recently. And they, they said like most alphas are like real uh, collegiate, like somewhat nerds. But I feel like this chapter, the beta eta chapter of Alpha Alpha, I don't, I don't really think that we uh, fit that stereotype. Although we do exemplify the collegiate ex expectations of you know others, we, I don't know, we kind of throw our own style into it. You know what I mean? Okay, and what's we, that style? I mean, I feel like we, we kind of cool. You know what I mean? <laughs> we cool. We got our, we got our own style. Everybody is different. Like we're not all nerds. Like you know what they trying to make us out to be. What he show? Yes, this is a uh, Pan Dash week. Tomorrow night is going down Pandemonium in the Student Center. So you're gonna be DJing that too as well, right? Yes, me and uh, DJ Kerry. Okay, so <laughs> DJ, how did that even start? Man, honestly, like you know, I always grew up listening to DJ Fairs and the Hot Boys and uh, Power ninety two point three, and um, they honestly inspired me to DJ. So how did it's you? Real. How did you? Oh, honestly, get that skill because well, I understand it. It takes skill, you know, and time and skill. practice. Yes, well, I, well, honestly, I have a friend. He's a DJ. He's actually in Miami right now, and um, he DJs in a radio station down there in Miami. And his name is DJ Bam. Okay. And um, he actually taught me how to DJ when I was in high school and whatnot. He taught me like the moves and the skills, but also to be a good DJ, it takes a lot of practice and dedication. Like there are some types of DJs that just play iTunes and. They just think that they are actually a DJ, but a real DJ is know how to scratch, knows how to mix, and knows how to rock any crowd. Rather, if it's black, white, Asian, Chinese, whatever. True DJs rock true crowds. Okay, so you can work any crowd. You could, you can rock a high a high scale crowd, and you can rock a you know, a but rough. Crowd. Yes, rough crowd. <laughs> Honestly, I'm gonna say the hardest crowd I have ever ever DJ. Honestly, it has to be S I U E Eversville. Mm. I went out there for blackout. Now, keep in mind, Chicago, St. Louis, and whatnot, they listen to different types of music and whatnot. I went out there to St. Louis, you know, here, I think a song, of course, is Bite Down. You know, people mm. here love Gucci, all mm. that, whatnot. There, no, they love Boosie. Now, personally, me, I'm not a big Boosie fan, but when they heard a Boosie hit, they lost their mind. I'm sitting there like, are you really? serious? Wow. Like, it was crazy. It was like Bite Down wasn't a big hit to them, but Boozy was. I'm like, whoa, excuse me, but I mean, that's so, about it. So has there been a moment where you just messed up? Yes, I mean, I have messed up plenty of times. But, but see, see, the thing is about DJing is the crowd looks at you all the time. So as long as you're having a good time, the crowd will too. If you look upset, the crowd will be like, what is wrong with him? Why does he look upset? As a DJ, you cannot never look upset at all times. You have to look happy and just be like joy for the whole time. If not, the crowd, the crowd will panic. Okay, so since this is the Hustlers Corner, please describe to me, to them, what the Hustlers Corner is about. What, what makes you a hustler? <clears throat> what is a hustler? Now, honestly, I think that I'm a hustler because I actually go out there and get it. Like, if someone tells me no, I try to prove to them why I should actually have this go. You see, I started DJing when I was 15 years old. Mm. When I first came down here, people did not want to give me a chance to DJ, honestly. So, honestly, I had to show them why I want to become a DJ, why you guys should actually book me, and I will also have the crowd cracking. And that's why I believe that I'm a hustler. Okay. My Cassidy voice. <laughs> Okay, well, this is your girl, Rudy. This was the Hustlers Corner. Yes, 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 and I'm DJ Commando. Yo. And